A few months ago we were talking about taking a great American touring story. We both love the blues, we both love good food, and we both love roads. So our plan was to go from Memphis and follow Highway 61 down through the Mississippi Delta where the blues were born. And I thought New Orleans was a great place to wrap the trip. We just thought it was a really rich place to head down the river and disperse back into the world, which is what happens at the end of the Mississippi River. You know, this is, this is really, I think, one of those places where you hear that saying, and it's so true, if the walls could only talk, because it's amazing, the stories and, and uh, just the moments, the events that happened in this little room. Uh, you know, the Million Dollar Quartet, of course, maybe being one of the most significant events, where you had Johnny Cash, who was just here picking up his paycheck. Carl Perkins just happened to be trying to record a new record, and Elvis, Jerry Lee Lewis. You know, uh, I mean, it just was just this synergy that all kind of came together. You know, the, the stars were aligned or something. He just had all this, uh, they just started jamming, playing together, telling all these stories, talking about all the music that influenced them. Luckily, thankfully, it was recorded. You can go back and actually listen to a recording of that. So it's just an invaluable recording of a, of a pretty, pretty uh, cosmic event in the history of rock and roll. night you know we went into a, a place with a uh, a local guy we know Leo Goff who's a, a bass player like a bass player of, of quite note being on you know record albums and stuff and also happens to be a great uh, engine builder and we mosey into this this bar and heard like amazing live music and had a great smoked porch holder meal and my first experience seeing that Memphis scene and, and all the people and all the lights It's just, this, you know, you can just see that even now, like, I mean, it's, you know, modern times as it were, but it's not the, the birth of the blues, but just the contrast. And, and you could see people being motivated and having so much desire to, to go up and, and try and make it. They were playing rock and roll, really, this brand new intersection of blues and country music and rhythm and blues all kind of wrapped into one. But, you know, Elvis was not normal in his class. He kind of dressed like a star even when he was in high school. I mean, I love Memphis, but as soon as we got out of Memphis and, and hit Highway 61, and now we're riding, you know, we're, we're going down the road, and there's the river. You can't see some of it because it's behind the levees, but uh, yeah, we're flowing.